Hello everyone and welcome back to Sketch by Sketch and I am so excited for this video today. Today I'm doing my very first digital painting. I guess that's what you could call it. I'm not really sure. But I've tried to do digital art before and it's failed every time. I haven't even made it to the coloring stage and I finally completed this drawing today. Sorry it didn't start from the very beginning. I thought I was recording and I actually wasn't, so I did miss the very beginning of it, which I was pretty upset about. But I gave you all that I could, and I am just so happy with the way this turned out. I mean, I can tell that it's not the best digital art at all, but I definitely tried really hard on this, and I took a lot of time, which I usually don't do when I do digital art, and I've learned that you kind of have to do that if you want your painting to turn out. You have to be able to take time to do it. So um, I use Autodesk Sketchbook. It's a free program. All you have to do is put in your email address and create an account. And it's very easy to use. It has a lot of tools that I find really easy to use. And they really replicate the actual tool that you would use with paper. They have the full Copic marker colors, all of the colors you would use with your Copic markers. and all kinds of other colors that you can make and blend yourself. It has layer features which allows you to put all your different parts of your drawing on a different layer. Probably if you do digital painting, you use that a lot. I usually do a sketch layer, second sketch layer, a line art layer, and a face layer, eye layer, lip layer, hair layer, and clothing layer. And if I end up doing a background, then I'll do another layer for that. But it just makes it so easy to use and set up your drawing and everything. You can erase stuff without ruining the other layer. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And it just makes your painting look nice and clean and finished. I really like the way that you can get all the detail just by changing the brush size. You don't have to go get another tool or anything like that. It's super easy to use. And I use this stylus. Of course, you don't have to use a stylus when you draw. Um, digitally but I find it way easier. I bought this stylus on Amazon. Not really sure what kind it is. But it was pretty cheap. Um, I'm actually looking at buying a new one because I'm not very fond of it. I don't like it too much. Um, but it works pretty good for what I'm doing. Something in this drawing that I did realize that I wish was a little different is I wish I would have used a paintbrush instead of the brush the digital brush that I used to do this and then I blended it and it looks a little bit airbrushed and I definitely wasn't going for that but I think it turned out alright in the end. I did use a reference photo on Pinterest of another drawing and I really don't know who the artist of that was or who drew it or anything like that but it was a very beautiful drawing and I just decided to use that as reference for this. So I will try to link that in the description if I can find the image somewhere, um, but thank you so much for that drawing. I really want to get into digital painting and digital drawing and do some more drawings like this because I really like this drawing. I think that it's really pretty and that it just looks different than all the art that I do. I usually do fan art and I don't do a lot of original characters that don't, aren't really anybody, they're just a drawing. I really enjoyed trying something new with this. Here I'm doing the background, which I had a lot of fun with, just kind of playing around with it, and I don't really know how I did it. I just kind of threw a whole bunch of stuff on there, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed this, and if you want to see more videos like this, please like so that you can see some more digital drawings. Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in another art video. Bye bye.